Well, we're back in Mud Pot, ladies and gentlemen, with Dustin Elysian Tail. We have a task to complete. You have to save Bull Pop's Pop. But first, who are you? Oh, it's a pretty kitty cat. What, me? It's a flying cat! Oh. That's not the first thing you noticed? She's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Bidget. Maybe we have met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, um what's your name? Smoa. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Ooh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look! That must be Reed's box! How can you mm, tell? Tell you what, next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew! Good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah, maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! <laughs> ah, God! All the funny things to happen at once. All right. Well, since you're the center of attention right now, we'll give that one to you, Fidget. Good grief. Um, nope. This just seems to be in the way for no reason other than to hide mysterious wall chicken and a key behind it. There's another level to this place. Oh, hey there. Well, hi there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are gonna save her village? What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet, Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? <laughs> anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spiky rocks and thorns. Wait. Your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too um, darn wait a minute. to go looking for it on my you own. You have this hitting stick here, here to hit things with that's in your hand, but you <laughs> lost it in the bed. I'm... <laughs> All right, Blop. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. I'm confused. <laughs> Uh Lordy Lou. And there's a cat outside my door right now. Not a flying one, mind you, but there is one. Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat. We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom, that's endless, forever. I'm sorry, look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. 
He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave Mud Pot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. Okay, that cat is being relentless, so hang on a second. Please stand by. Okay, cat's in the room. Let's continue on. We've got... God, we're looking for moss now. Well, good evening, youngin. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear good the two of you are helping out Pope Pop. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open, because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my that eyes open for them. might explain the black sheep well, you've thank been you, seeing son. outside of town There's six already. of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. Talking sheep, yeah, that's great. Also, the cat in question is now completely encompassing my lap, making it difficult for me to actually play this game. Eh, ooh. This is what we here call a cemetery. And there's another one, but of course we can't get to that quite yet. What I think we're going to need to do is we're going to need to check out the old basement of this place. But not before, uh, not before going up a little. I can't get through here. And I'm going to use sons of guns. Former sons of guns. Gimli, I really do need that so that I can play the game. So please stop trying to pull out of my hand. Oh, here's one of Gappy Shape. Wait, did you just. Hmm? Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah? What? Okay then. What? I don't get it. We put one of Gappy's sheep in our inventory, so what? It's for safekeeping. Don't we just... don't we do that with everything? I mean, how else are we gonna get that thing back? I mean... Are you just thinking that it's weird that I can put a living creature inside my inventory? Poof! Don't question game logic! Eh, uh, okay, this is something that I'm not going to be able to deal with until I'm thinking a great deal later in the game. Yes, and this is our way to leave uh, the Ceremony Caverns, or wherever it is we've ended up. Can I help you? Do you really have to do that right now? That's... I need to be able to press every single button. Okay, forget that. Since it was brought up that we could buy something from the... Actually, you know, where are we on our quest for this guy? I've completely forgotten. Five impies. How many impies do I have? Two. They are fairly cheap, though, so I might as well buy them at the shop. A few more at the shop while I'm there. I'm not hard-pressed for this kind of thing. 
Welcome back. Um, okay, before we do the children's toys things, let's actually ask questions. Let's... What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I need imp heights. That way I can just get that particular quest uh, moved along, since I don't think we're going to be dealing with imps or imp hides for a while. Please stop doing that to my hand, Gimli. I need this hand, and I can't be using it to pet you for every single second of the day. Thank you for coming in. Welcome back. Do you sell children's toys, or more specifically, Nimbat dolls? A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. I gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. What's to feel uneasy about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. I don't know you anymore. Ah! <laughs> Would you like me to make the doll now? Okay, you know... Uh, this is a particularly funny scene in the game uh, for me. Especially since I watched like one of the blooper reels on YouTube elsewhere. I might put a link in the description if and nothing else. <laughs> it's uh, oh, I like I like this. Wonderful. Now, if your companion will just lie down on this fabric. Hey, you're not tracing me. Oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Okay, there, done. See how well I've captured every nuanced curve. Uh... While it's raining. See? You can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect! Ha! <laughs> no, it really isn't. Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. Just shut up and make this stupid doll. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. God, the number of takes uh, it took to get this right is uh, hilarious. And now the rain is just getting worse. There in the head area? I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. And voila, another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. No, oh, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around forever. I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So let's get back to fail. <laughs> now that we've done that, and get that part of the quest over and done with. Those materials you asked for fail. Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. I'd like to upgrade our weapons. These spears, while primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Yeah, like I said, I think when we started this, there was going to be some time spent getting all the stuff necessary for Fail's quest. Beast spear. Well, we only have two of those right now, and we need to get eight in order to make this, uh, make this quest. But I think we'll just have to deal with that later. Let us return to the Ceremon Caverns. Hey! Don't bother me. Unless you have a spear head to give me. Screw you, teeth, teethy. I don't know. All right, 
only logical way forward now is this way. Onward and downward, as they say, you know? Oh. Rumbly down here. Yes, that is my finger. Why are you touching it? Oh, hello there. How did you get down here? Um. You know what? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Your transit. I've already just been to a shop, so there's really no point. Um. Ring of sight that glows in the dark. Okay. Um. Brings the luck down, but it brings the attack up. And it glows in the dark, so we're just going to use that for now. What? What do you want my finger for? I kind of need that to play the game with. This is kind of awkward, cat. I told you this is awkward. Yeah. It's going to be even more awkward when I have to dash and I can't put my finger on the trigger because you're pulling on it. I didn't mean to go that way. Oh. Come here. We're going to go back to Gappy. And we're and you're gonna like it whether you like it or not. Whoa. Okay. Why is this about to explode? Why do I need it? What do I need it for? Okay then. Well, I suppose that was a complete waste of stuff. No, that had to have been for something. You know what? No. We'll look into it on the way back. I'm confused. I hear some clinking. That means that there is a cage somewhere in the vicinity. But not one that I can open right now. Either way, let's continue on along. Is there stuff down here worth getting? No, I don't want to. I don't think I want to try that yet. Or maybe I do, because quite frankly, I can't get anywhere right now. Uh. Eh. Alright, fine. Where does all this wind come from? Eh. I can't go down there, so I have to go up here. Here are all these spikes and thorns and prickly things. Okay, now you want to move out of my lap, that's great. But don't do so at the expense of me and your giant claws. Okay, now I have the crouch slide. Okay, but before we use the crouch slide, I'm going to let this cat down safely without putting holes in my leg. Okay, there we go. Okay, I can sit up straight now. Wonderful. Yep, simple as that. It's like the Mega Man slide. Just press down and jump. Uh. And this is generally my preferred way of getting around quickly outside of, you know, using the dash. Ugh. Yeah. This earned us a lot. A note. Spelunker and the right mind would travel all the way down here. Nothing but a bunch of grumpy cave dwelling, nasty monsters, and exploding pod things. Also, I think I discovered I love saying Spelunker. Well, that's random. Random pretzel ugly pendant. Actually make you weaker. Oh! Um... This will come in handy later for that 1,000 combo. 
but we're uh, otherwise nothing really worth uh, raising an eyebrow towards because that actually weakens us on many accounts and I don't think we want to do that just yet I mean again like I said for the 1000 hit combo it might actually be a good idea because We're plenty strong at this point, and uh, we're fairly effective against most enemies that are going to be coming up against us in the near future. Actually, I need to check something. I only have three keys. Because, you know, the thing is, I am aware that there is one of those cages down here. And I don't have enough keys to get to it. Lovely. Well, whatever. Don't. Ah! Get the buy. Come on. I want a Cinnabon. All right. I also realized that I forgot to close the door. Oh well, that's the cat's fault. Okay, there is something to explode around here somewhere. There has to okay, that was stupid of me. Ah, okay, yeah, no, I know what it is now. It's, it's that thing right there, and I'm, there's no point in dealing with that now since I don't have the proper upgrade to actually start climbing that. Lovely. Well, we got the hitting stick. Ah, uh, e, ow. Prickly. Ah! Whoa. Okay. Well, we're done doing any business in the basement. We might as well just keep going. Well, I mean for now, anyway. There's, I'm sure there will be stuff to do later. Find Gappy, get his hidden stick back to him, and be done with that. Er, plop. Oh, my stick! You found her! Now I can get back at that good for nothing trolk that done busted up my leg! Whoa, hang on, Blop. You'd better not pick any fights in your, uh, condition. Boy, this is a matter of honor! And revenge! And hitting things with sticks! Tell you what, I'll beat up some trolks for you. Bring me their devilish little fingers. Four of them. No, 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 40. No, 400. My broken leg demands justice. Uh, I'm no. I gather four trolk fingers just for you. Sound good? Ah, now that's my boy. Okay, actually, there is a fairly. You know what? Now that we have the slide maneuver, and since I brought up Gappy earlier. Oh, wait. Okay, Smobop. Here's a fidget doll for you. Better than the real thing. Ooh, she's pretty. Here, you can have this. Thanks, Smobop. Hmm, <laughs> Bob gave it to me a little while ago. He found it near the surface, I think. Well, thank you. Enjoy your fidget. I love my doll. I love her so much. Love, love, love. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Right, whatever. That reminds me. Yep, we did get two fidget dolls, and they're only worth two coins. 
I guess I will have to hang on to this. Forever. Because it's not really worth getting rid of. Hey, you never know. Uh, Fidget might take offense to our lack of love for her visage. It's hard to tell with these crazy Nimbats. Actually, are all Nimbats nearly as crazy as Fidget is? Who knows? Except for the creator of the series, Dean Dodrill. Although the likelihood that he's ever going to get around to addressing whether or not Nimbats are the way they are commonly, or whether Fidget's just an exception, is another thing. Because, uh... Yeah, I have no idea if he's working on a sequel or any other type of project to follow this up, as far as I know. At least as far as I know. Gappy Sheep and one of those treasure keys. That's good. Now let's go back. Out of the way. Owner of an Elysian tail coming through. Right, I'm sure there are a lot of other places back that I could search now that I have the ability to slide, but I'm not going to. At least not yet. Just figured I might as well get that one sheep while I knew it was there. I was thinking about it. And... Let's see. One more sheep to go. It's actually way over here. We saw that before. Right, that's done. We got all the gappy sheep. Which I think for now will just about have to do it for what we're going to accomplish in this episode. Because next time on Dust and Lizzie Tail, we're going to go through this gap and make our way to Lady Tethys. Yes, I already know her name is Tethys. So, let me pause the game. <laughs> With that all said, thank you all for watching. Uh... Kofi link and Twitter link in the description below if you want to involve yourself in either one of those. RCFS and out.